Here's a creative way to make your centerpiece easy mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving, for uh, whatever big party that you've got coming up. Uh, Heidi Rue is here from Parties for Pennies, and you're going to show us how to make a succulent centerpiece. Yes, absolutely. Well, first of all, the white pumpkins are so pretty, and I figured out a way to make a great centerpiece that's great for the fall and very modern, too. Succulents are all the rage right now, and it's so simple. You can do it. You see the finished product here. All Look at you this. need. This is adorable. I know. That's a smaller one. You can go, you know, as big as you'd like. So we've got one. I've already, I've already um, carved it out because it's not Thank too pretty. You. Yeah, not it's too icky, pretty to do it, it yeah. on camera. No. So I've already got mine carved out. Now what we're going to do? You can do this a couple ways. I've done it a really easy way. I just got a regular succulent garden that's already potted okay. and I'm just going to stick it in here. But if you don't do that, if you have the, like these individual succulents, you can take an old like Cool Whip. A container and then make your own little succulent garden and just stick it in there. Could you put the individual pots in just like that? I oh, mean, stick yeah. in a few? And, oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that helps it keep it dry there, which will keep it longer too, because okay. we don't want a lot of moisture in there. All you're going to do is you're going to, I'll let you do this. Okay. Take our succulent garden and stick it in there, and we may just have to kind of squish it in. Yep. Okay. Get it in there nice. Now we're going to kind of decorate it and cover up some of these dirt spots. So I've got some really pretty moss. You can get this at a craft store. And a you'll Spanish just, moss. Yeah. Okay. And you'll just stick it around there. Kind of stick it underneath the plants. There you, you may go. May want to do this outside on the porch because yeah, it does a get a little messy. messy. It's a little messy for sure. Oh Woo. boy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That but looks man, that's beautiful. easy. And you it's want to so let a little easy. hang down? Yeah, let some hang down. This is great for a fall dinner party or Thanksgiving. You can even put it outside too. It's a great thing to kind of welcome your guests, put it on your porch. That's a great looks idea. great. And it also makes a great gift too if you're going over to somebody's oh, house. That? Yeah. Bring that over. You can do it on these large pumpkins. You can get a smaller one. I've done even the individual white pumpkins. It's just really pretty and it's a great little fall centerpiece. I love that. You could do it with orange if you wanted yes, to. Yes, you can do it with orange. You can do it with other plants. The succulents just work well because you don't need a lot of water. And in order to keep these pumpkins from rotting, no moisture. So the succulents work great because you don't have to water them. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. And you can even do this with a fake white pumpkin too and it'll really last a lot longer too. Well, and you could use that from year to year. That Absolutely. makes it nice. Exactly. Cool. If you were doing this on a big table mm -hmm. as a centerpiece, mm -hmm. what else else would you arrange around it? Oh, I would do kind of candles and I would even do a lot of other small white pumpkins that would look really, really pretty. Um, and you can even line it with craft paper like we did here. I have a little bit of craft paper that would look really pretty over like a nice crisp white tablecloth. Yeah. And yeah, there you go. Simple. Just a very, very nice simple. monochromatic, a little bit different. Yes, absolutely. Um, absolutely. And like I said, you can even do the smaller white pumpkins. Um, I've used those as place settings. So you do a small white pumpkin, stick one succulent inside of it, and then add a little tag to it, it says Merrill, and then sit it right on the place setting, and you've got a great favor and a great place card. Oh, that's Same. a terrific idea. I want to come to a party at your house. Come on over. Okay. Open invite. Heidi, thanks. <laughs> Great idea. I appreciate that. All right, you can link to directions for this project on our website at newschannel5.com. For all of Heidi's ideas for parties, decorating, recipes, and more, go to her website, partiesforpennies.com. We're back right after this.